So thanks to Riot we had the opportunity to play the new map Abyss and I must say it looks like a pretty crazy and fun new map. The gimmick of this map is that after the barriers drop you have no boundaries anymore so if you're not careful you will just fall off the map. And of course you can also make players fall off the map with certain abilities like breach ult or race satchels. Even something like shooting your own race rocket at someone from the wrong position can end up in suicide as you see me falling off in this clip here. The craziness doesn't end there though as not having boundaries also means that you can move around the outside of the map with abilities such as omen tp or race satchels to land some crazy outplays. Alright so let's quickly go through the map and I will show you all the spots and pathways and give you my opinion on how playing there feels like. It's a pretty classic map layout with an A lane, a B lane and a middle part but it's a big map with lots of different pathways to go through. Starting off in attacker spawn we have the A side on the right hand side here and A main offers space for some pretty explosive fights right off the barrier. You then get to the choke point which is not the easiest to get through since you have quite some angles to check with close right, close left, back side, top side and heaven. But I think with some good utility you can get through and you have this outside pathway I already talked about that you can entry through with a jet or race for example in order to scale to side quickly. There is a big structure in the middle that you can jump upon as well which is the main cover to fight around on side. Behind that you you get into a security and here you have another cool outside of the map play that you can pull off on retakes and you also have this a secret spot where every agent can go around the outside and then peek into defender spawn or catch a good timing on someone rotating in. There's just so many little cool ways to outplay on this map and I found that very fun to play. As a defender from spawn you can either go through security towards backside in order to enter A or you can play from heaven. Maybe even playing all the way back at secret here could allow you to get kills by catching players off guard. Now if you want to make sure to perform well on Abyss when it gets released I would recommend you to check out our free analysis and improvement tool inside because here you can find an overview on key stats as well as your performance on different agents and maps. So you can analyze how your performance on Abyss looks like and what you need to improve. Beyond that our spider chart breaks your game down into six main metrics and shows you what skill you need to work on. And to help you with that we recommend fitting content as well, everything for free. Link to inside is down below. Now if we go straight ahead from attacker spawn we enter the middle part of the map and this is a bit of a weird one for me. In general you have these two lanes, one up top and one a bit lower with a gap in between and you can have some early long range gunfights here. The question for me is what do you do once you take that space? You have a lot of ways from mid to either bomb side, but they all seem pretty long and complicated. The most direct one is to go through vents towards A, but the enemy team will know about it because of the two breakable doors and you enter A heaven through a very narrow choke point. Then you can go all the way through mid and push A link from where you can go spawn, backside or heaven. But this takes so long that it seems to be more of a lurk play than trying to do a fast A split. And towards B side it's kind of the same, taking the first pathway left doesn't do anything in terms of splitting since you end up in B main. And pushing all the way back through B link could once again be a good play to try and flank but a split will take very long. As a defender you can enter mid through A link or B link and then play these angles at the back or you can try pushing towards library which is pretty risky though because you're exposed and there's no easy way back. You can also try playing around the rope and creep up silently or hiding on the rope but those seem like pretty niche plays. Finally moving left from the attacker spawn we have B side and here you can either move towards ramp directly or you can try to fight from window first. In order to enter side you have the big ramp and then once again an outside pathway through danger that gives you good cover but also leaves you vulnerable to someone peeking from back side. There's lots of different angles to play for defenders on B side so I think it will be pretty tough to entry here but we will see how it plays out. As a defender you can come through link and play around this medium box and different angles here or you can enter from heaven and play those far angles. 
Backside also seems to be a pretty strong position since you have lots of cover and you basically counter anyone trying to enter through danger. Overall, I really enjoyed the first couple of games on this map. The fights you take seem nice. You can go for cool outplays and lurks if you have good timing. There is a big variety of positions to play and the map also has a really cool flair to itself. So I'm excited to try it out further when it's fully released. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, to make sure that you will actually perform on Abyss, I have linked you five advanced aiming tips on screen right here, so make sure to check that video out next. I'll see you there.